Hello everybody, welcome to this video. As you may know, last week was Dub Dub. Um, maybe it's uh, two weeks uh, right now because you know we are shooting this video afterwards, so not sure when it goes out. This video, as you can probably tell from the title, is the only summary you need as a designer. And we will be talking about all of the design topics that Apple covered during their conference, as well as some software updates, because you know that's what we designers care about. Apple did a lot of software updates this year, as of every year, honestly. But you know, here I want to talk more about what I think about functionality, accessibility, and the visual style of, of these changes. So the first one being iOS 16. I really appreciate the personalization and more AI-driven features that feels like magic, because I think that experiences should generally feel like magic. Honestly, I I'm not sure about the customization because I'm the kind of person who don't like to customize their things. I usually use everything out of the box. And when it comes to color differences and all of these like weird gradients, I'm like, I'm not into that honestly. I prefer flat design or more like realistic design, but these like hard gradients, I think they are disgusting honestly. So um, I'm, I'm not like a huge fan of this year's visual style for, for iOS. WatchOS also got quite a lot of updates. They mainly focus on accessibility and also allowing uh, people to use some fitness features regardless if they have Apple Watch or not. I'm uh, personally super excited that they uh, enable tracking of medications and now people can track uh, their medication intake and share it with their doctors, which for somebody who is interested in health such me is, is a super cool feature. Because honestly, when it comes to tracking, like for example, cycle tracking, I really like to track it on my watch because it's just easy and convenient and opening up on phone. Well, no. <laughs> uh, actually, with latest updates, I feel like the Apple Watch are becoming the go-to phone communication device, at least for me. So I often read messages and emails on them. I can't respond that uh, that's, that's quite problematic, but like reading and uh, calling somebody is just, you know, here which is perfect because it's attached to my body. And then uh, there is macOS Ventura, which has a couple of new features as always, but you know, it's a good old uh, macOS. The interesting thing there is, are these like weird left tabs, uh, which uh, I'm not sure how they are called right now, but visually they are kind of sick. I'm not sure if the functionality is the best usage of a screen space, Honestly, I don't think so. Honestly, I think it's just like a weird 3D flex sort of thing. And um, I don't see myself using it, but it's definitely an interesting UX pattern. I never saw it anywhere else. So it's it's quite unique in that sense. And I'm, I'm sort of interested how people will be using this. And then we have iPad OS 16. And with that, I feel like um, the iPads are becoming more and more computer-like. And I'm wondering when we will get this whole, when we will get this whole morph of uh, having just one device that's like both of the things. Because honestly, I feel like things becoming more and more similar uh, as as we are progressing through uh, through 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 the I would say computer um, s stage of our human uh, civilization, whatever. But I think that seeing some of these crazy patterns like the, the left 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 thing and i get guess they already tested it and everything is is interesting because nowadays you don't see that many interesting interactions and patterns like i would say it's, it's becoming more and more rare and people use more and more um you know usable well-tested solutions uh how to solve their pro problems now to the design updates. Unfortunately, we didn't got that many design related sessions uh, this year. And two main things, new updates for SF symbols and uh, typography, uh, San Francisco uh, typeface. And the second one is charts or like a new chart library. So SF symbols, as you know, that's uh, 
Apple's icon library is actually a typeface font. That means that it's aligned uh, together with the typography. And uh, this year they added a couple new categories such as camera and photos, accessibility, privacy and security, home and fitness. And they added over 700 new symbols, which makes the library to have around 4,000 symbols in total which is, I would say, quite uh, extensive. SF Symbols have their app and currently they are available in four rendering modes. So the first one is monochrome, then we have hierarchy, then we have palette and also multicolor. And multicolor is something that was added last year and we talked about it in my uh, previous uh, WWDC summary for uh, designers. I personally used SF Symbols multiple times. I probably wouldn't choose them for my own design because I personally prefer to have icons aligned on an icon grid and having them separately in a separate Figma library compared to uh, icon font. But that's just my personal preference when it comes to aligning elements or components on the page. And I think, uh, especially if you want to prototype something or get started quickly, this is the easiest way to get beautiful icons. Then there was a couple of sessions where uh, Apple covered uh, charts accessibility because they launched a um, new chart library, if I understand it correctly, uh, for iOS development. And as you may know, in their native apps, there is a lot of uh, different beautiful charts. And I think that's great because generally speaking, you want to use external libraries when you are dealing with charts. You will probably not grab something uh, by default or some apps do it, but it's uh, very, very technically difficult. Yeah, they basically mentioned a couple of best practices about how to design charts, but I would say that these best practices, well, I would say uh, they, they are basically quite basic. Uh, they are something that every designer should know by heart um, and looking at how to visualize data and how to display data in UI in form of charts is definitely one of the important skills that we should all have. Um, they sort of mentioned that it's good to uh, provide description for charts, use charts that are familiar, um, use colors uh, that are high contrast also to uh, create accessible charts. So for example, for color blind people, you just can't use like colors to distinguish, I don't know, for example, uh, bars in a bar chart and stuff like that, but like really basic stuff. But I think they showed some beautiful examples. So uh, definitely as an, I would say, as a way of inspiration or uh, aspiration where, where you, you can go as a designer with charts, it, it was uh, interesting to watch. Lastly, Apple mentioned a couple of guidelines about AR design, which is something we talk about here on our channel a lot and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, but I thought it might be better to cover it in a separate video in a couple of weeks. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs>